Hi, it's Martin here. Um, just thought I'd do a quick review of my Xperia M2, which I have had for the last couple of days now, because my Xperia S like broke, so I've got to try and sort that out. Um, it's not a bad little phone. You know, it's uh, quad core. It's got eight gigabyte built-in memory with a one gig RAM, but you can update, upgrade it to 32 gigabytes using the card slot. It's obviously 4G, so LTE, and Bluetooth version 4, um, 4.8 inch screen, so but it's um, the QHD screen, so it's only a quarter of high definition screen, but it's just it's good, it's good. Um, 8 megapixel camera, now on the Xperia S, obviously we had a 12.1, so going from a 12.1 to an 8 megapixel camera it gets used to it's not bad but to me the it looks a bit washed out um, some of the pictures just look just look washed out a bit you know, um, I don't know it just could be because I'm used to a different thing but it does it it does just look a bit washed out but obviously it records full HD video so obviously that's good <coughs> um, there is some cool features on it <coughs> like you've got on the camera you can get obviously it's HDR <coughs> you can beam live to Facebook using social live time shift burst picture effects sweet panorama you know the usual portrait retouch and then there's a couple here that I've downloaded from the app store but then you've got the AR effect now this is quite cool I've had loads of fun with this you know there's just all sorts of different cool stuff you can do with this so I don't know I have the dinosaur Decides to. Give me a second here. There we go. So it obviously looks for a nice spot. Nice flat spot. And then you've got this. And obviously you can move it. You can interact. Move plants and stuff around, you know. Um, I think that's quite a cool feature. You can obviously take the picture. <clears throat> and obviously you've got different other effects you know fairy tales masquerade stuff like that I think that's a cool feature um, <clears throat> this me you've got superior auto now obviously <clears throat> that just is everything for you um, it works well it works well Let's that out of the way There's obviously geotagging, you know, the usual stuff. you got obviously Facebook integration, <clears throat> social life, news, you know, these. You've got, even got Garmin sat nav. Obviously, it's a 30 day trial, but if you want to continue using it, obviously, you can get a prescription or something. <clears throat> But um, just set it up. Clear that out of the way. Right, just going through all the stuff. So here's the actual, you know. So I don't know. I don't know if I want to go to, let's say. Edinburgh. There we go. And then I wanted to go to, let's say, there. Go there. So then you got that, you can go by car. 
tells you all sorts of stuff, incident, stuff like that. And there's the actual map. So it gives you three different routes here. You can see that. So you've got my route, there's another route. So basically the middle one's obviously the longest. So it obviously gives you the directions and stuff. Um, it's a nice little interface. Obviously, point, points of interest, navigation cockpit. But this is quite cool. There you got this stuff. Obviously, when you're driving or whatever, you know it's it's, it's cool. Um, yeah. So I might use that. I might not. It just depends. Track ID TV. That's obviously you know, light track ID, but obviously you do it for your television. You know, just obviously record it for your TV, and obviously it'll tell you what it is. Um, you know, and then you obviously got your your usual stuff. A lot of the stuff obviously I've installed, but um, this little feature which is drag across and obviously you've got different options here so obviously if I want my alphabetical order you know or most used so it only showed what's used that's it and um, obviously installed so it only just show what's installed and then obviously let's go back to alphabetical or our order, so it'll just go to also the ones that again used the most. Um, obviously, it is NFC, um, it's running out of the box, it is running Android 4.3, and it will get upgraded to KitKat, I think, in June sometime. Uh, well, obviously it depending on network and other things. Um, obviously, you know, it is quad core, like I said, so it is quite fast. Um, now, obviously the back is glass because it uses the same chassis as the Xperia Z2. So obviously the tension detail is quite good. You got a speaker at the bottom here. This is a speaker grill. Um, quite a nice speaker. Obviously, you got your power button, your volume rocker. Sorry, your camera button, your volume rocker, and also your power lock button. And then you got a little catch here. And obviously, that's your micro SD and your micro SIM. You got a little bit of information there that you pull out. Um, obviously your 3.5mm head jack there obviously the camera, LED flash that's the microphone there the NFC logo obviously the thing there front facing camera and obviously you get your proximity and ambient light I do like this phone I mean it's obviously a lot thinner if you compare it to the Xperia S, you know, it's obviously, you know, it is thinner. Now, I do like this phone. I love this phone. But I was a bit annoyed, you know, when it broke, whatever. Um, but, you know, because obviously with this, you've got the HDMI. <clears throat> Whereas obviously on this one, you don't. But, um, you know, it's still a good phone. I'm liking it. Obviously, it does attract fingerprints front and back. So, but obviously, you can see them. You know, when shut up to a light or whatever. Um, Pre-installed was obviously diagnostics as well, which was obviously good. Um, now, obviously, this was. Again, made when obviously Xperia Z2 and stuff was made. So you got Xperia connectivity, 
So obviously you can throw it to your TV, you can screen mirror it, obviously if you've got a, a Sony TV, I'd imagine. Obviously media server, so it can act as a, a media server. This will as well, you can connect your PlayStation 3 um, controller into the, obviously the appropriate adapter, which obviously got the, the micro USB slot. So obviously you can play your games or whatever else. Um, obviously USB connectivity, stuff like that. This obviously is a PlayStation games phone as well. So yeah, I've got the PlayStation mobile application there. Um, well, like I said, I've only had this a couple of days, so I'm still getting to grips with it. But obviously if you're used to Android and obviously the Sony platform then it won't take long for you to you know get used to it basically um, but I mean the only real thing I see is just that the camera it does look washed out I mean the front facing camera is only a VGA so you know there's options on there that you can you know, do a little touch up to yourself, stuff like that, but oh, there's me. <laughs> um, I just don't, it looks grainy, stuff like that. <clears throat> I mean, you've got options to soften your skin, but again, that just makes it look, well, grainy really. Um, I'm just not really, you know what I mean, it's just, I don't like it, but you know, obviously if you're out and about, you know, outside or whatever, I will try and take some photos outside and add them on to the end of this video, and obviously do a bit of video off the phone as well, but um, that's it really, um, thanks for watching and hopefully I can do another review soon. Thanks a lot. Cheers.